So, there was some DLC released for World of Final Fantasy. Turns out you can get Balthier from Final Fantasy XII, if anyone cares. I do, because, you know, the champion medals are pretty awesome, and it's kind of like, hey, I want all the stuff I can get. So, I figure it'd be a good time to show that off. Show that, you know, I got it. You know, Balthier is totally going to go on to my champion medals. I'm going to equip him. I'm going to replace Sora. Because I don't need Sora anymore. I've showed Sora off enough. We need to mix things up, you know. Keep things a little alive and vibrant. Anyways, Nibelheim, everyone. Welcome to Nibelheim. It's thanks to Shinra that this town has come so far. You see, Shinra uses volcanic energy in order to generate power. That's not what Shinra did in Final Fantasy VII. We need the Federation. We can get along just fine by ourselves. Yeah. Enough with the Federation bullshit. Yes. I knew that you'd talk to me. I was getting tired of just sitting around. Whenever a cute girl comes by, I use my psionic powers to try and get her to say hello. And for once, it actually worked. <laughs> Is that a thing? Psionic powers? Is that what I need to do in order to get hey, all the ladies? You want to practice with me? Um, what? What's going on? Was that inappropriate? Provocative? Uh, Shinra company, company now hiring. Hey, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, read it at your own now leisure. Now is the time to place yourself in the Federation's care. Become an architect. Achieve true happiness. Go fuck yourself. Is... <laughs> I don't give a Azure shit. Or crimson. In which prophecy do you place your faith? Oh, that's a little personal. Um, well, for my money, I want to piss you off. You would put your faith in the Azure prophecy? Blasphemers! You're the blasphemer. The Federation's mirages keep coming after this town. They won't leave us alone. But whenever they show up, that's when we step in. Yeah, soldier! There's something dodgy about the Federation. Any town that doesn't join them, they attack with their mirages and forced to join up anyway. At any rate, as long as Soldier is here, they won't be laying a finger on this town. That Shinra's combat unit. Us? I'm sorry, but we're all out of the Silk Ones. Oh, that's to the cloud cross-dressing thing. That, that was a pretty cool little side quest. It was hilarious. It was in Final Fantasy VII. Anyways. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. You see, my grandson's birthday is coming up soon, and I was hoping to give him some dragon scales. Is there any chance you would be willing to bring me some? I'd be very grateful if you could. Hey, I got those. I got you four. Would? Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah, I can totally do that. <laughs> I completed it. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. My grandson's going to be thrilled when he opens his present. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a reward. All right. Looks like we got some pretty awesome stuff. A, a while back, seed? there used to be a town called Mist here. But then a big disaster left the town in ruin. Afterward, a company called Shinra came along and offered to help rebuild. A lot can change in a decade, you know? When you look around, it's hard to find so much as a trace of mist anymore. Oh man, it sounds like a conspiracy. So, Rydia, what's the difference between a summoner like you and a Mirage Keeper? You know, I should be asking you the same thing. In most cases, summoners can only maintain a bond with one or two mirages at the most. To be called a mirage keeper, you have to be special. Keepers can exercise power over a countless number of mirages. How is it you create a bond with so many of them? Huh? Well, I guess I've never really thought about it that much. Tama, can you answer that? Huh? Good the question. I never really thought about it as some kind of the bond before. Huh? Then Tama's not your familiar? Familiar? Yes. Mine is this dragon here. 
The first Mirage a summoner connects with stays by the summoner's side to give her protection. They're sort of like guardians. Oh, I'm under no the obligation to protect Lawn and Rain. It's the optional. Gee, thanks. Hmm. I guess that keeping mirages and summoning mirages must be two pretty distinct things. As far as I can tell, there must be a big difference indeed. Anyways, let's keep hearing what let's Rydia has to, to say. Seven. Uh, I guess she's done. Okay. Well, I guess uh, in Nibelheim... What are you doing? I guess in Nibelheim, it's kind of a cross between Nibelheim and uh, Midgar, which was like, you know, the beginning town of Final Fantasy VII. And also, Valley I guess... Seven is east of the here. I was going to say, I guess Shinra are kind of the good guys in this variation of World of Final Fantasy, whereas in Seven they were totally the... One of the antagonists, if not the main antagonist. I don't know. But anyways, Valley 7. Because Final Fantasy 7. Too fiery. Uh. Hmm? You okay? Oh, I'm all right. Shall we? Dude, I'm burning up. Me the too. Just think about cold things, and then think about them melting. All right, well, you know, that's not helping me one bit, but I was just going to say, these rock pillars kind of have a ancient valley feel to them. They kind of look like the shells in, um, in the ancient city. Come on, bring it. If I remember correctly. Oh, hey, Blood Eyes, I totally have one. Does that mean I can use one on my team? Uh, I think it does, because I already caught one. So, uh, I guess that's another Mirage that I unintentionally can use. Oh man, I'm gonna have to nickname one. I, I, I think I got something. I think I, I think I got my brain thoughts working, so I, I got a nickname in the mind. Man, they're pretty easy to kill now, so I don't really have to worry about them. That's kind of cool. I was not expecting to run into that. So it looks like, it looks like my little eyeball guy I can rename him so you know if you will give me a second while I get everything going oh hey everybody say hello to peepers here cuz uh, you know I, I was like you know I can't think of anything but then I was like water over yonder general peepers yeah that, that's uh, I'm totally gonna do that you know I'm just gonna name him after general peepers so peepers everybody let's uh let's say hi to him he's gonna be part of the team mainly mainly just gonna use One him for his flutter ability and we're finished <laughs> why are you sneezing it's like 500 degrees in here well you can get a cold in the summertime you can get a cold regardless and I mean like all this place is fiery hot and Heat exhaustion and it's bullshit, but I digress, you know. Uh, fire my nemesis. Oh, it's bombs. It's bombs. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of these guys, but at the same time, you might be like, how do I do with the bomb thing? So, for all intents and purposes, I, I gotta use the Libra. I gotta figure it out, you know, because I'm sure you guys are kind of wondering what does the Libra have to say about bombs? Bombs? Uh, well, yeah, fire. Fire. Everybody got that fire? Fire, or you get a bomb, and everyone's happy. Uh, for the most part, bombs are kind that of mad. So I mean, they're they're not a bad brush to have. I just never really had much of a use when it came to bombs. Other than that, I mean, uh, do what you will. If you want one, complete your like mirage, uh, your mirage. Like, bestiary, I mean, sure, go for it, you know, because, you know, you can, you totally 
have something like that. I haven't shown it off, but, you know, in, in the future, everybody, in the future. Try to complete the whole collection, if you will. Otherwise, I mean, I need to figure out the whole, uh... Need to figure out the fire resistance. Let's see. Oh, it looks like... It looks like Gallywix has all the capabilities I need when it comes to this sort of thing. Now then... Uh, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, this is just another area in the whole entire place. It has kind of a Final Fantasy VII vibe, but the whole fire thing is kind of... different. These rock formations, though, I mean, like, they, they kind of remind me of the ancient city in Final Fantasy VII, though. Uh, other than that, uh, this music does not really ring a bell. I mean, if anyone... If anyone can, like, tell me if this is, like, a remix of something that I've heard, I mean, by all means, go for it. I would love to know in, like, a pair, but at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this, like, all new for World of Final Fantasy, and I, uh, it looks like, it looks like Rain and her stack is confused. Uh, I could throw some smelling salts on them, but, uh, I'm not gonna do that, because uh, I don't need to, man. I, d I don't. The battle's over. It's not really that big of a deal. But otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just go over here, just activate this thing. See, Gallywix, Gallywix gets it done. I don't have to worry about anything. Thanks to Gallywix, it's all good. It's all good, we're all great. Oh man. There's something interesting in, in this whole, in this whole valley, if I remember. Like, we'll be getting into a secret area where we can totally get a mirage and it's gonna be amazing, but... You know, that that's in, like, uh, either the next part or the part after that. But until then... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go to all these things, explore, maybe grind up a little bit, so... Oh! That looks like something we're gonna need to, like, give a give-me golem, cause, uh... Items like that, really ridiculous sounding items. They totally are for like gimme goals. Dude, it's on. Let's make this good. And uh, having having something that can use water, I'm, I'm starting to see a trend. Like unlike in the dragon scars, I'm thinking this fiery valley. I mean, water is going to be super useful. So if anybody has anything that can use water and just spam it, I mean, by all means, go for it. Also, the experience isn't too bad. I might grind up a little bit. So. Uh, after this part, I think I'm gonna do a massive grinding, like, cover a whole bunch of things, just do anything I may have missed. So, uh, expect a lot of progress side stuff in the next part. That's really what I'm going with. Uh, otherwise, I mean, yeah, welcome to the Fiery Valley, everybody. What is this? Oh, Gimme Golem, I knew you were here somewhere. I just did not expect you to be right here. Alright, but I, it's irrelevant, everybody. It's irrelevant. We're just gonna Here continue we go. onward, fighting yeah. everything in our we way, getting this. experience, and then, like, I don't really know. Uh, also, if memory serves, this will be the first time that Piplup will actually have a showcase with her, like, no uh, ability. Because so she has one of those, much like Smash and Flutter. Peplup has the chill ability. We haven't really shown it off if memory recalls because we haven't really encountered anything that needs to like chill uh, In this place though. Yeah, we got yeah chill. Okay support ability. So everyone It turns out we have to use the ice ability chill to cool down places like this so that we can traverse secret areas and I mean Piplup Piplup gets it done. Piplup makes it so you can cross secret areas, do the thing that you would normally not be able to do, and we can get some treasure that otherwise would have been inaccessible. And it looks like, for my money, I got a Mirage Battle before I can go and claim whatever okay, is in the treasure box. God, this whole area is infested with these blood eyes. I mean, yes, I'm grateful that I was able to name one of my dudes after one, but, or I was... Yeah. Grateful to name one, like I was grateful to get one and name it and whatever. But you know, at the same time, this is starting to get really fucking annoying. <laughs> I mean, not that that was anything new or anything. You know, I'm still just too high eaters. I mean, I can use that, but you know, I'm not really all that interested. Anyways, you know what? I think I'm gonna end it off here. Next time, 
I'm gonna do some side stuff and then we're gonna continue exploring this fiery chasm of death. Gah.